iOS 4.1, the next release of iOS. And it's got some really cool stuff in it. So let me go through what it's got. First of all, a lot of bugs have been fixed. Proximity sensor bugs, Bluetooth bugs, iPhone 3G performance bugs, all the bugs that we get mails on. Uh, <laughs> we think we've nailed a lot of them. And we think you're going to be pretty happy with it. Secondly, we've added a really cool thing called HDR photos, high dynamic range photos. And I'll explain that in a minute. But that's going to be standard in iOS 4.1. The ability to upload HD video over Wi-Fi to YouTube and other places built into 4.1. TV show rentals in addition to purchases. And Game Center is now making its debut for end users. And we think this is going to be a pretty big deal, too. So let's start off with high dynamic range photos. What are high dynamic range photos? Well, when we take a photo, a lot of times we get it where it's blown out with light. You see it washed out with this bright light coming in over the building there. Well, when you turn on HDR just by tapping on that button there, when you take a photo, it actually takes three photos in rapid succession. It takes one normal exposure, what it thinks is the appropriate exposure, and then one that's underexposed and one that's overexposed. And it combines these three with some pretty sophisticated algorithms to produce an HDR photo. And it's pretty amazing. And we keep both the normal photo and the HDR photo in the Photos app. So you can just compare the two of them and use the one you like. But it's really remarkable in some photos. And let me show you a few other examples. Here's another one where you can see how HDR has pulled out the sky and pulled out the detail in the foreground. Here's another one where you can see it's trying to pull out the shadow in the background. You can see her legs pulling them out of the shadows as well. Take a look at this one. You can't even see the pavement, the one on the left. And look at how it's pulled all that out from the one on the right. And one final one again, you can see the sky in a lot more detail in the background using HDR. So for some photos, it's, it's pretty great. And uh, it's built into iOS 4.1. Another thing we've built in is Game Center. And Game Center is both APIs for developers to build into their apps, and it's an app called Game Center right on the phone. Game Center is all about multiplayer games. And it allows you to challenge your friends to multiplayer games, and they can challenge you. And if you don't have any friends, it'll auto-match you with people. <laughs> so it's pretty great in that way, too. And you can compare scores, and you can discover new games your friends are playing. So it's pretty nice. So as an example, uh, this is Thor, and Thor can take a look at uh, the games that they've played with other people. And Thor is one of uh, my 73 friends, let's say. I've got 73 friends. And uh, I've got uh, 19 games that are multiplayer games that work with Game Center. So I can take one of those games and, as an example, Angry Birds. I can look at leaderboards. I can look at achievements uh, and, and, and everything I've done with my friends to see how I'm doing. So here I'm inviting uh, two friends, Appleseed and Thor. And I'm going to get matched up with Game Center with two other players of roughly equal ability all automatically. Or if Thor wants to invite me to play a game, this is what it looks like. Right? Thor has invited me. I can decline or accept. <laughs> so that's Game Center. Now, again, you've got to see what this can do. It's pretty exciting. And there's a new game that's going to be coming out later this year that we saw that's really remarkable from Epic Games. And it's, it's my great pleasure uh, to invite on stage Mike Capps, the president of Epic Games, to show us this amazing new game using Game Center. Thanks. Thank you. So good morning, everyone. I'm really thrilled to be here to reveal our very first project at Epic for Apple mobile devices. Uh, it's powered by our award-winning Unreal Engine 3 game technology, which has powered countless hits for console and, of course, our Gears of War series. To demonstrate, I want you to meet Donald Mustard, our creative director. Donald? Hi, everyone. Today we're introducing a new game currently in development. It's codenamed Project Sword. So Project Sword is a gorgeous action-packed role-playing adventure, and it's filled with epic sword battles. 
Now everything that you're seeing is running in real time. This isn't a movie, and I'm controlling everything you're seeing right now. I'm in the Citadel, a vast environment filled with enemies, treasure, and the weapons that I'll need to take down the legendary God King. So if your jaw is not on the floor, it should be. Take a look at this place, right? This is a gorgeous 3D world, and it's filled with intricate levels of detail that you just don't expect to see on a phone device. Plus, now we've got Game Center, so we have dozens of unique achievements to unlock. We've got worldwide leaderboards, so you can compete with your friends, and it's really easy to find someone online to play with, and I'm going to show you. And honestly, with Game Center, it's just as easy as it's just as easy as that. Mike's gonna send me an invite, and I can accept it. Now, as a designer, what's awesome about Game Center is that all the social integration is done for us. So I'll be playing this massive brutish titan here, and Donald's gonna be playing this wimpy little knight. <laughs> You can see the character detail is amazing. We're using the same lighting and motion captured animation techniques you see in top CG films. Now our multiplayer uses two unique control interfaces, allowing for more hardcore gamers to be matched up with more casual players. My attacks happen just like you'd think, by swiping directionally across the screen. So my interface is a little less caffeine powered. I'm just dragging different moves onto the screen, for example. Here I'm gonna drag, uh, let's see how to open uh, my boot, say, onto your face. Oh. <laughs> All right, lucky hit. Now, if I'm good, I can dodge and even parry attacks, putting the Titan into a mode where I can unleash like a powerful combo, unlocking an achievement. Great, and now everyone in the world will see that on Game Center. So you call me a wimpy knight. Well, I'm going to take the gloves off. Let's, uh, let's see what you got. All right, little man. <laughs> well, I might be little, but I'm really, really fast. So guess what? Now this is happening. And you know what they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So this is what you get when you take a designer on with his own game. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So we're, we're really thrilled about this game, but I'm even more excited to take this technology and put it into the hands of iOS developers all over the world because I want to play the games that they come up with next. Project Sword's going to be available this holiday season. It'll be out on iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. I think you guys are going to love it. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Excellent. It's on a phone. <laughs> That's pretty remarkable. Well, that's a little peek into Game Center. So those are just uh, two of the many things in iOS 4.1, and it's going to be available next week.